Abacodes. Finally, Python became a full stack programming language, which you can use not only to write the back end side of your app, but also front end in minutes. And I'll show you how easy it is. You won't need JavaScript anymore. I'll show you how you can write your first chat app using just pure Python and this wonderful and promising framework. So please give this video Emperor's thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, toll the bell, and let's go. All right, we'll start by creating a virtual environment for our app. I'll go with BNV and I'll call virtual environment chat ENV. Then we need to activate our virtual environment. I'm currently on Ubuntu, so I'll go with source, then the directory of my virtual environment, bin and activate. Okay, it's now activated and we can begin installing the framework. So pip install pinecone. And once it's done, we're gonna create a directory with mkdir command, and we're gonna call it pine chat. Wonderful. Now we need to cd into our directory, pine chat. This is where our main app will reside. And inside this directory, we will initialize pinecone project. So PC for pinecone and then init. It creates all sorts of files. I even have some cache in it, but we can see the structure of our application. And what we are interested in is our main file, pinechat.py. So inside we can spot some boilerplate code so that the app won't come completely empty. By the way, you will also need Node.js for that. The version should be 16 minimum. So if you don't have it, please head to Node.js website and install. Otherwise it will not work. Okay, let's run our app, PC run, and it will initialize our server and the app will be running on our local host port 3000 and is going to be running here in the background until we'll stop the app. And every time we're going to be saving our code, the hot reload of this framework will actually update any changes in our app and render them accordingly. So this is how we're going to write our app. First, we'll start by importing module for time. Let me actually enlarge the screen a little bit that's better. So we need some time related functions to understand when messages were sent. Then we import typing. This is for convenience. We're going to be hinting the types of the variables. And then we need to import config object from PC config module that contains a lot of configuration settings, such as database, for example. And then we import Pinecon itself, SPC. So let's start by defining our first class message that inherits from PC base. So this Pinecon base class is the entity, or how you like this super class, all classes inherit from. We'll have three class variables nick of type string sent of type float and message of type string and this is basically what we need for this simple app the next class is called state that inherits from pc state so in this state class we basically define all of the variables that can change in the app as well as the functions that can modify them and state also allows us to add interaction in our app it will have also some class Class variables uh, again because this is state they are subject to change we have nick of type optional string with a default value of an empty string we also have nicks so plural that of type list of strings with a default value of an empty list we also have messages of type list of message objects with a default value of an empty list and finally we have a class variable called in message of type string with a default value of an empty string. And now below, I'll provide you the code so you would see how they are used in our app. We're gonna define several methods. First one is called set nix that takes a list of strings as an argument and returns none. So basically a method is responsible for setting nix of those users that chat in our app. And inside of that method, we're going to have an attribute nix. So we're going to set this attribute of the instance to the argument passed. The next method is called incoming message that takes a message object as an argument and returns none. Basically, every time we receive the message, this is going to be the method dealing with it. Inside of that method, we'll have the message message argument that will append to the messages attribute of the instance. 
And then the asynchronous method called nick change. It is, as you may guess, responsible for changing the nick independently from other person. That might be in the same chat. It takes a string as an argument and returns a non. And inside of that method, we are setting the nick attribute of the instance to the argument passed. So the nick when we change it. And then we are calling the broadcast nicks function, which we'll define later. A synchronous function called send message basically creates a new message object with the nick attribute of the instance, the current time and the in message attribute of the instance as well. Then it calls the broadcast event function with the event name and a dictionary containing the message object. We'll define this broadcast event function later. And it also resets the in message attribute of the instance to an empty string so we can type new message straight away. The method other nicks returns a list of all nicks that are not equal to the current instances nick and we'll also have it decorated with bc var so basically it is a computed property that is computed from other property next we'll define a function called index this is basically where we write code responsible for the front and side of our app so this index function returns a component so pinecone component this is basically a building block that allows us to present different other building blocks inside of it so we can nest block inside the other block and so on and so forth for example it returns pc v stack so a vertical stack of components inside of which we're going to define other components then some more components inside of them and so on. so this is basically how we present the structure of the front end of our app for example pc heading will be responsible for well 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 heading chat 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 will be at the top and this index method is massive if i'll try to explain each component you will fall asleep Sleep. So let's just observe how you can write apps front end with your Python. Let me speed up a little bit and put some music on. Another important part of our code is the app object. Basically, it pulls everything together, index page gets added to it, and the app is then compiled. I don't think you'll be able to run anything without it because it is a main app object. All we have left is to define two more asynchronous functions. First one is a broadcast event function, which we used previously in our code. This function simulates client side events and the other asynchronous function is broadcast nix which is used to simulate the state event nix with a list of updated nicknames from all chatroom participants. I will leave a link to their GitHub repo under the video so you can check and play with this code yourself. Now let's run our app. This is our app, nothing special. So nick will be v and the message let's chat. Then we can put something else like I'm chatting. And then we can change our nick to w and say me too and something like that's cool so this is basically the premise of the app that we built and we can use it as a base to build something more sophisticated adding say colors or avatars later on 